In this video, we're going to talk about using collapsibles. Now, a collapsible is a good way to, to minimize content on a page, to show only certain sections, to create an accordion that when they tap on a certain section, it will show that part of the section. And so it has a lot of uses that you can use inside of the collapsible. It becomes like optional content that the learner or the user can actually use uh, or um, see once they've actually tapped on the button. So to make a collapsible, all you have to do is within the content page, let's just go ahead and add a div tag. Now that div tag, we're going to add an attribute of a data dash role. And then we're going to say equals and then within quotes we're going to actually say collapsible make sure we spell it right here collapsible and there we go now within that collapsible you can now have whatever content you want so I'm gonna go ahead and just add an h4 tag and within that h4 tag I'm gonna say heading and then on then I'm going to add a paragraph tag and so I'm going to say P tag here, and then this is a some sample content. There we go. Now if I hit save, let's come over to our browser. I already have the HTML pulled up. I just need to hit refresh. And you can see the heading is visible before it's actually expanded. However, once I tap on that, the content then becomes visible, whatever content I've placed inside of here. Now, if I decide to put a button inside of there, I can do that. If I decide to put a list view in there, I could do that as well. So it's just pretty much whatever HTML you want to be visible once the learner has actually tapped on that. Now, these collapsibles are also, um, they're also responsive, so they automatically take 100% of the screen there. Now, if you want the content to be uh, not collapsed to begin with, then all you have to do is come into the, um, the data role here, or actually the div tag, and we're gonna say data dash contents, actually gonna say data dash collapsed equals, and then within quotes, we're gonna say false. Now, if I hit refresh, the data is actually automatically expanded by default. Now I can have the choice to um, not have that expanded just by tapping on it. So it just works the opposite if you have that there. You can also apply a theme to it. So if you say data dash theme, let's go ahead and say, okay, this theme is going to be B because it is A by default. Now that theme is automatically applied to that, um, to that grid or to that collapsible there. And then we're going to say data dash theme, actually content theme dash theme equals and then false. That way it doesn't actually apply the theme or any type of theme around the content. So if I don't have that content theme or if I set it to true, it's going to have that border and the white content around that. Now, I actually like to, to have it uh, all part of one thing. So that way I'm just going to go in and um, just have it kind of connected together so it looks a little bit better there. Now, you can also come in here and you can say data dash theme, but you can also say data dash contents dash theme and you can apply theme to the content area as well. So I'm gonna say equals within quotes and I'm gonna have that as B. So now if I come in here and expand it, the content is also um, the theme of B as well. So let me go ahead and delete that. And so let me delete the data theme here as well. So let's go ahead and explore a couple other things that you can do with this. I'm gonna say data dash theme. Actually, no, let's data dash mini equals and then we're going to say within quotes we're going to say true now it's actually taking our uh, collapsible and it's making it a mini content now the content that gets expanded is the same but the actual expandable part um, the collapsible part is not the same now we can have again list views or whatever content we want inside of there now, if we wanted to change the icon, you'll notice that we have a plus 
and we have a minus that it's a plus before it gets expanded it's a minus once it's expanded to let the user know that they can take it away or they can add to the content but if I wanted to change that I can come into the collapsible let's get rid of the data dash mini and we're gonna say data dash collapsed icon dash icon and now we're going to go in and we're going to say the icon. So if you don't remember what the icons are, you can look this up in the demo. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the jQuery mobile website. So I'm going to go to jQuerymobile.com. I'm going to go into the demo section and we're going to pull open jQuery mobile 1.4.2 demos. And then we're going to come into, let's expand this out a little bit more. We're going to come into the icons section click on icons and then this is all the list of the different types of icons that we can use now I'm just gonna go ahead and just insert a carrot dash D and now if I let me actually so we have data collapsed looks like I misspelled collapse there so we're gonna say collapsed icon I'm gonna save that and you can see that the collapsed icon has now changed. Now we can have, it's uh, when I expand it out, it then takes it back into the minus. So I need to change that as well. And the way that I do that is data dash expanded. Dash icon. Equals. Within quotes, I'm going to say carats or however you say that's so I'm going to say you now so I have the carrot you and now what I do is it's a uh, we save that preview it and now it goes up and down so we have the arrow up and down once it expands out and you can change that to whatever icon you want whatever you think that actually works now if I don't want this to be inset by default the uh, collapsibles are inset so they're not, they don't take the entire area if I want that not to be the case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete the collapsed items here. And I'm going to say data dash inset. And this goes true with anything that's by default inset. You can go ahead and apply this to be false. This is not just the collapsible area, but now it expands out to the full screen. So here we have the full screen. And once I expand it, the content is also within the full screen. It's not taken uh, or inset into the actual page there. So that's how you work with collapsibles inside of jQuery mobile version 1.4.2 and above.